Hello viewers, this is Dow Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this wireless camera system. This one here is from the company Camons. The system consists of a very large 7-inch color LCD display. It comes with one wireless camera, and you can add three more cameras for a total of four cameras. With a large display, this system is perfect for RVs, motorhomes, trailers, or work trucks. So let's get right into it. Let me show you what comes with this camera system. Installation manual. There's a seven inch monitor. Suction cup mount for the monitor. Remote control. Mounting bracket for the monitor. Sunshade for the monitor. There's a wireless camera. Power cable for the camera. Cigarette lighter power cable for the monitor. Mounting bracket for the camera. Wiretap. Power cable for the Furion camera system. Antenna for the camera. Antenna for the camera and the monitor. Here's a look at everything you get with this wireless backup camera system. Let's have a look at the camera. Now this is a very solidly built unit. The entire enclosure is made of all metal. It's waterproof. This is IP69K rated. What that means is the unit is protected against the ingress of dust, high temperature, and high pressure water. So you can safely install this outside the vehicle. Now looking on the front, in the middle is a camera. The resolution is high definition 1080p. The viewing angle on the lens is 145 degrees, which is a wide viewing angle. On the sides are 18 infrared LEDs for night vision. Above the camera lens is a photo cell to detect daytime or nighttime. So when it goes dark, it will automatically switch on the infrared LEDs and enable the night vision. Now the night vision on this camera has a distance of 50 feet. Looking at the back, this is where you install the antenna. In the middle is a cable for the power plug and the pairing switch. It also has a grommet. You can fit this over the hole that you cut into the RV to keep the water out. Now depending on where you install this and also what obstacles might be blocking the signal, there is an optional antenna that they have provided. They've also included this antenna you can install. As you can see it has a long cable here. With this you can mount this at the top of your motorhome. And to power this camera, all you need is 12 volt. Plug this cable into this connector. And you have the positive and negative wire. So depending on how you want to power this on, you can tap the power from your parking light or ignition 12 volt. To mount the camera, it comes with this metal bracket and installation hardware. Put this bracket onto the camera. Install the two screws on each side. Here's what it looks like with the bracket installed. Now you need to mount this bracket onto the back of your vehicle using the included screws. Let's have a look at the monitor. This screen you're looking at is a 7 inch IPS panel. The resolution is 1024 by 600. At the bottom are the buttons to operate this unit. On the far right is infrared sensor for the remote control. At the top, this is where you install the antenna. Now the range between this monitor and the camera is 1000 feet. This assuming you have clear line of sight and no interference. This unit also has the ability to record the video. To do that, you'll need to install your own SD memory card. Remove this panel at the back here. Here you install an SD memory card with a maximum size of 128 gigabyte. Also on the back, there's a cable right here and it goes to these wires and this connector. For the power, you need to connect the cigarette lighter power plug to this red connector. And then plug this into your 12 volt accessory port. With the other four wires, these are trigger wires for the camera. And they're numbered 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this monitor can be paired with four cameras in total. So when you apply 12 volt to each of these wires, it'll trigger the display to show that camera. So for example, the blue wires marked number 2, you can connect this to your left turn signal. And if you have the camera mounted on the left side of the RV, when you turn on the left turn signal, it'll display the left camera view. 
The brown wire is marked number three. This can be connected to your right turn signal for the right camera view. And the gray wire is marked number four. This can be for your backup view. And the green wire is marked number one. And this for the camera one. To install this monitor into your vehicle, you have two options. One is the windshield mount. To use it, it's very simple. Slide this onto the back, adjust the height, and tighten this knob. You can loosen this knob here, adjust the angle, place a suction cup onto the windshield, and then push down this latch to lock it in place. The second option is using this metal bracket. You can place a monitor onto this bracket. Use the included hardware to secure the bracket onto the monitor. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you're going to use this bracket, you do need to screw this onto your dash. They've also included the sunshade for you to clip onto the front of the monitor. I've gone ahead and connected the power to the monitor and the camera. If I press a power button right here, the monitor will turn on. It will automatically show the live view from camera one right here. If I had more than one camera, I can press the camera button right here. I can switch to camera two, three, four. There's a quad view with camera one, two, three, and four. Back to camera one. If you press the M button right here, the menu will come up. So here you have pairing, picture, flip, mode, camera setup, system setup, play, and record. Now I'll turn off the light so you can see the night vision. As you can see with all the lights turned off, the image you see from the camera is still very clear. Now I don't have a motorhome or RV to install this in, but to give you an idea how this operates, I'll install this into my Nissan Pathfinder SUV, and hopefully it'll give you a general idea of how this operates. Let me show you what I've done. Using the windshield mount, I install the monitor onto the windshield. With the camera, I installed it at the top of the rear deck. Right now I have the power connected to ignition 12 volt inside the vehicle. I'll turn on the ignition. Here's what it looks like with the camera pointed down. And here's a look with the camera pointed to the back. As you can see, the picture is very good. The image is very clear. Here's a look while backing up the vehicle. And this is what it looks like with the camera pointed down. Here's a look at the live video during the daytime. Here's a look at the live video at night. As you can see, the night vision works very well. This is very helpful if you're backing up at night. With a camera view, you can turn on parking guidelines if you want. To do that, press a menu button, scroll over to system, select it. Here you see the parking guideline. Press record to select it. Use a plus and minus sign to toggle. Press record to save it. Menu to exit. Now you see the parking guideline. Now to use the guideline effectively, what you want to do is first set the angle of the camera and with a vehicle part, place an object on the green line, yellow line and red line, and then use a tape measure and measure how far out it is. So from here on when you're backing up, you'll know how close you are to the object when you're backing up the vehicle. As you can see this wireless camera system from the company Camons works very well. I really like the large 7 inch LCD display. It gives you a very nice easy to see camera view. Whether you mount the camera on the back, on the side or in the front, you'll be able to see everything happening around you. Both the daytime video and the nighttime video works very well. The high definition resolution of the camera gives a very nice clear picture. Installation is also not too difficult. The monitor is powered with a cigarette lighter plug and the camera has a two-wire connection. So if this is something you might be interested in, check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to click on a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to support this channel. 
Also click on the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. Thank you and have an awesome day.